hello hello welcome to leap taken this is mika and here at leap taken i talk about all things witchy law of attraction manifesting esoteric and everything else in between um today is a very interesting day for me um i've just been having waves of highs and lows and craziness so i didn't do no makeup so you just get me you know all natural wrap um but I wanted to do a video. So I'm actually in a process, you probably see the glare on my glasses, but from my uh, computer, sorry, let me get rid of that. I'm trying to, um, I'm not trying, I am writing right now uh, for my blog, leaptaken.wordpress.com. And I'm working on a piece and I said, let me go ahead and just do a video. And this is off the cuff, I don't have my little notes or anything. You can see I'm already, I got some candle work I'm doing here and um, a reading that uh, preceded the candle work. <laughs> but anyway, that's just happening in the background. Don't worry about that. What I wanted to talk about was this thing with Summer Walker. Now, spoiler, and you know, I'm gonna embarrass myself. I don't, I probably heard this girl's song and I don't even know. I'm just talking about the controversy around her sending a tweet out, um, uh, you know, talking about her altar, uh, you know, missing having an altar, and, all that sort of stuff, which was fine, right? Everybody should be allowed to say how they feel about, you know, their situation. Okay, no problem, no big deal, right? Except she got some hate comments, uh, something like, oh, I can't do people who are witches or something like that. Somebody tweeted back, and then you saw a couple more where people were kind of going in. First of all, when you look at what her altar was, I didn't even see anything that necessarily said she was a witch, one. <laughs> Because you can have an altar and not be a witch. People who practice um, ATRs or African traditional religions don't necessarily refer to themselves as witches. So that's one. Some do, but not all. Just like Wiccans don't always call themselves witches, but you can be Wiccan and be a witch. So it's just an identifier. And not everybody chooses to use that identifier. So with that being said, she never said she was a witch. Let's just start there. She never said she was. Um, she just talked about her altar space. So without going too far in history, traditionally African-Americans or Africans um, that, that <laughs> predating Christianity, because Christianity is sort of this um, hodgepodge of kind of a singular focused faith. It was a bunch of different things that's why you say oh well, that happened in this you know this religion or that religion Christianity kind of lumped a lot of those different stories and all that sort of stuff into one and streamlined it with the whole process of one God you got to understand at the time uh, it was considered a cult when it was when it was first started up okay that's not a shady thing it, that's history it was something that um, had had small it had a small following. It had been growing. The popularity was the way women were treated. It was better than in some of the other religions. And the other thing that uh, was popular is the process, the the concept of the one God. <coughs> Excuse me, because at the time, you have to understand what's going on. You have all these other uh, religions with all these other gods, and. As Rome continued to conquer other places, um, you know, once you were conquered by Rome, you became Roman. So as Christianity is growing, you see, with this little cult following as they continue to grow, um, that's more appealing because we had this one way, now we're Romans, so we gotta, we could do our stuff, but now we gotta do the Roman things because we're Romans. And the, you know, the Roman uh, gods and <laughs> your own and you, had Roman holidays that you had to follow, but you still got your own stuff. So it's like, you know, it's crowded in your headspace of all these gods and goddesses. So the one true God, the concept of the one true God was very, very attractive. Uh, hence it, it grew. And then of course, uh, Constantine, you know, uh, ushered in Christianity and here we are, you know, it, it, that, that pretty much solidified it being much more popular. And here we are today, where it's, it's still being the, the most popular uh, religion. Now, African traditional religion, because that's more or less what I believe um, Summer Walker in the picture was doing. Practicing some sort of, uh, maybe not the religion itself or some aspect of it, by having an, a, probably an ancestor altar. 
So that is something that is um, ancient. That's something that's been doing for, we have, um, we have history of knowing that some sort of uh, ancestor reverence was taking place uh, in ancient times that will predate Christianity. Again, this is not something I'm making up or trying to hate on or I'm bending the truth or I did an internet search. Um, I homeschooled my children. I used references from multiple places and we go to, we went to museums on a regular basis across different states. Um, we would do a live feed. Some museums in other countries do a live feed so that, especially for homeschoolers, they do it for public schools, fun fact, so that you can see uh, whatever installation they have set up in the museum. Um, you have to understand what museums do. They will go and take a freaking boulder from some place in Africa or, you know, a cave and take the freaking wall, you know, <laughs> and put it in the museum or take these wonderful images and then you can no none of the public can ever go in the caves, but they have these wondrous images that uh, we were able to see that are displayed in the museum and we live stream like ones in Paris and such and such, you know, other places. We, we were able to do this for a couple different museums. Uh, wonderful opportunity. We're in our comfortable home watching, you know, all of this uh, great history and this evidence of history. So the concept of goddess and all of that, um, that is a very, very old since, um, some would almost say since, since, like since <laughs> humans, uh, there has been some sort of goddess worship. Again, all this predates Christianity. So why am I talking about this? Because what that young lady, Summer Walker, was doing was getting back to her roots. What has what has happened is um, a people's interruption, and the people being Africans. I, you know, my DNA is all over the freaking place. I just got my ancestor DNA update. They, if you haven't done it, fun fact: they sent an update to you, so you get to um, stay in the know as far as um, where your DNA is really, what part of the world your DNA is the most placed. You know, based on t test samples uh, from people. So. I found out I'm more Nigerian than anything. So I'm like 30 something percent Nigerian and then another 20 something percent um, Cameroon, which means, which those numbers change. It doesn't mean my DNA changed, of course. It just means they were able to get more samples and then they were able to say, oh no, actually there's more of your DNA found here than any, you know, any place else. So I thought that was interesting. The white people that was in me, <laughs> the, the Wales, the Scotland, Irish, and the little bit of, first of all, I had more German in me, more German than I realized that came up. And I'm like, well, wait, wait a minute, what's happening? Anyway, but you know what? You can tell people who have um, mixed uh, ethnicity um, going, uh, going through their system. I mean, my skin is brown. It's a lighter brown. It felt... Um, you know, my grandmother, who we she let us do her DNA, is pretty much 85% African. We added up all the numbers. 85% African with a little bit of something, something else here and there. But she's, um, was it even 85? It was like 89. It was a crazy number, but she was like half Nigerian. And my grandma is a very darker toned woman. She has more African features. She's African look. You know, she looks more African. And I would imagine... The people that came before her look the same. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just very interesting. I'm, I went on a tangent. I just found that out, so forgive me for that. But the point is, we have a long connection to ancestor reverence using altars. Um, that is something that has been happening for. I, 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 I don't want to give a time frame, but let's just say because I don't have anything in front of me and I don't have my own lesson plans. But we'll just say this. Let's say this has been going on for as long as almost human recorded history. Recorded is also, you know, statues and drawings on a wall and, you know, monuments and things like that. That's considered recorded history. It's not necessarily a document. So that's how long ancestor reverence. Notice I didn't say worship because people get that twisted. It's not worshiping, it's a reverence. <laughs> so... Um, Summer Walker is just doing what, she, what is natural. What is unnatural 
uh, for those who are very ignorant, uh, making these hateful comments based out of ignorance, that's unnatural. That's completely unnatural uh, to judge something you don't know. And because you don't know it, you must assume it's evil. Um, and it's heartbreaking because as, a, as black people, because a lot of the comments were black people, let me just be clear. There were quite a few uh, comments from black people and what hurt my heart was that they were young. And I'm like, ooh, the ignorance is just there. So it's just gonna keep going. You know, it, it doesn't, it, you, you wanna have hope that the younger ones um, are a little bit more um, advanced and open-minded and, and they're willing to, to take it further than me and my generation and so forth. But then when I see that many comments from that many young people, it makes me nervous <laughs> about the future. But on the flip side, Summer Walker herself, there were other positive comments. Summer, the fact that this young lady um, who has her fame now is willing to be open about that is also wonderful. I think that shows also a positive sign to the future uh, that uh, we are getting to our roots as black women specifically. There are black women who will create altars for the purpose of their community um, to honor ancestors. Um, it is such a beautiful, we have such a beautiful rich heritage um, and ancestry. And it's just, it's sad that a lot of us don't know that and, and we can't tap into that. It, it's sad. And this is not to exclude people who are not black, but Summer Walker's a black girl and she's doing something that is tied to her ancestry. So that's why I'm talking about that. Um, there are whole, um, you know, um, ancestries. First of all, let's backtrack. We know for a fact because we're able to know that. I know, I've known that since I was a child. You can watch Disney movies and I can understand the importance of um, an, a, a certain ancestry um, heritage coming down from those who uh, are, are from European nations. You know, it, it, shoot, my DNA, as I mentioned, my DNA includes that. So. I'm tapping into it too. I can do both. So if you're a white person right now you're watching this, get your DNA results. Find out you about one, two percent something in Africa. Go on one and go at it. I dare you. Go ahead. Go play with it. <laughs> no, you're, I mean, technically wouldn't you be entitled? Who am I to judge? You know, who, who's anybody to judge you? But, uh, which is the point. Who is anybody to judge Summer Walker? Who is anybody to judge what she believes in? It is so exhausting um, dealing with fear in other people. People trying to project their fear. And we all know, what does fear derive from? Ignorance. If you're open-minded, no one's trying to change your mind, but you hopefully will learn to be open-minded and have a little bit of a, what's that thing they call, grace? Yeah, that, that's what they teach you about having a little grace, yeah. Have a little grace with people. Maybe not be so judgy. And also, from my old Christian days, because I used to be one, you know there's no sin that's bigger than another sin, right? So if you think that what she's doing is sinful and demonic and all this sort of stuff, meanwhile, what kind of fabric you got on? You like that bacon and that shellfish? You like bacon wrapped shrimp? Your mama and them, um... They married with all them kids? They ever been married? Your grandma, she got married? Hmm? When she had all the kids, she was married? Okay. You married with your kids? Anyway, <laughs> now that was being shady. Forgive me. The point that I'm making about all this is let that young lady live. And then people get educated. We, there is a movement going on, um, returning to, uh, pay, uh, we're going to call it paganism, uh, just to give it an umbrella, because it's not just about black people, but there's little, uh, this is, first of all, just check YouTube. There is the witch movement going on right now, and you're seeing evidence in just your mainstream media and your stores. They brought charm back. Why? Because they understand that uh, there's a space for that now. That's why uh, it, it's, it's something that people are into. The whole witchcraft scene is hot, it's trendy. So 
I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing because yes, the trend will subside and some people may fall out and that's cool. But for every time there's a trend, there's going to be some people who stay with it. They, they found something from it and it's like, oh, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm staying with this. This is where I want to, this, this makes sense to me. So we pick up a new batch of witches is what I'm basically saying. And that's a good thing. So I uh, applaud Summer Walker. I'm going to find some of her music so I can identify her with her music. I know I heard it. I just don't know it. But <laughs> um, great marketing scheme because now you got me wanting to find out who she is. So great. That's great. Great spell work, uh, Summer. Great. Um, but I will look up her music and I will also seek her out because now I'm curious. Um, if, you know, she's open-minded and she is, re you know, or I don't even want to say returning. I don't know if this is how she was raised. You know, she might have always been taught to have an altar. Um, I'm assuming for ancestors. It looked like she was doing manifesting work. Peep out Twitter. You can Google it and see it yourself um, so you know what it looks like. But, yeah, I'm a fan just based off of that. <laughs> it didn't take much. I, I heard she got some other um, emotional problems and things like that. But what 20-something what year old girl don't? I'm 40-something. Sometimes I have them. So it's okay. I had a bad day today. So, <laughs> um we all have emotional problems at times, so that's okay. But uh, I'm going to wrap it up with that. Um, let people live, y'all. Let people live. Let people be. If they don't agree with you, they don't have to. Stop trying to tell me you're trying to save my soul. Stop trying to judge me. Just live your truth. Live your life. And if your religion tells you to go out and tell people and try to save them and rescue them all that... That's cool. Go do it. And guess what? If somebody says no, no, thank you, ma'am, sir, I'm good. Walk away. Walk away. You did your part for your religion, your God, or whatever you, your interpretation is. You have done your part. And if they said no, move on. What you're not going to do is be in somebody's DMs or in comments or in my face <laughs> trying to convince me otherwise. We're not doing that. Mm -mm. We're past that point in our lives. We don't have time for that. In any other place, I will block you. And if you're on my face, I can always just walk away from you. And with that, I am Mika. This is Leap Taken. Thank you for watching the video. It'd be great if you'd like it. And it'd be even more great if you would subscribe if you have not already. Thank you so much.